everyone. It's really great to be talking to all of you today about vitiligo and the role of diet and supplements with vitiligo. This is a really popular question that I get a lot from so many of my patients that come to see me in my vitiligo clinic. And this is World Vitiligo Day today, and it's an exciting time to be addressing these really important questions. So when it comes to diet, there are no controlled studies looking directly at the role of diet with vitiligo. However, we do know from a subset of smaller studies that there is a role for antioxidants in vitiligo, and we think that antioxidants can help with disease stabilization, meaning preventing it from spreading, and also help augment repigmentation in those who are undergoing other therapies, such as light therapy, which we call phototherapy, and topical um, creams that we also use for vitiligo. So when we look at the data, which again is limited, there are various vitamins that have been shown to have supportive adjunctive roles um, in treating vitiligo, again, in those who are already on other therapies. Some of these vitamins include vitamin C, vitamin E, alpha lipoic acid, ginkgo biloba. Um, there's others that have not been shown to have as many benefits, um, again, just because of limited and insufficient data. So things like vitamin B12 and folic acid um, have not been shown to be consistently beneficial. There's also various minerals that have been looked at in terms of their roles with pigmentation. Things like copper and zinc may play a role in pigmentation. And so because of that, there is a thought that possibly having a diet that's higher in antioxidants may be helpful in those with vitiligo. Again, we don't yet have the studies to prove that, but um, having a diet high in antioxidants has other health benefits anyway, and it may be helpful um, in the vitiligo stabilization and repigmentation. So there's many foods that are high in antioxidants, things like salmon, fish oil, omega-3s, various types of beans. Um, when it comes to uh, copper and zinc, there's various other um, meats and other foods that we find uh, maybe higher in these minerals. Um, so, you know, it's reasonable to look at something um, that has a lot of anti-inflammatory antioxidants in them that may be helpful for your vitiligo. Now, when it comes to minerals and supplements, I don't recommend that one just go to their local vitamin store and buy all of these vitamins that they're hearing may be, may be beneficial. It's important to be taking supplementation um, in accordance to the recommendation also of your dermatologist who may be treating your vitiligo because there are certain vitamins that can interact with each other or they can interact with medications that you're on. There's also vitamins that you can take too much of. Um, and so it's important that you have someone who is you know, aware of what you're taking, making sure it's safe for you based on your medical history and also checking levels for certain vitamins such as vitamin D, um, you know, which we know is important to um, have within a normal level but also you don't wanna to have too much of it. So I think that, you know, in summary, there certainly is a role for uh, vitamins and supplements in vitiligo. We still need more data to really prove exactly what that um, benefit is in terms of what to take and how much. Um, but we think that, um, you know, it is something helpful to consider and you should do it in accordance with um, your recommendations from your dermatologist. All right. Thank you for your questions and uh, thank you for tuning into this Living Well with Vitiligo series, um, which we're doing this year. And we look forward to discussing more topics with you in the coming months.